what we are having here today with the neighborhood watch movement launching in St. James it's an example that we are setting publicly to the other divisions calling on our police JCF partners partner with us let us create neighborhood watch in every division every district every community every street every house for what is happening inside this room is relaunch and launch of neighborhood watch movement and signing the MOU of commitment but as you notice we are both in black as well so we have had a um, occasion going from 12 o'clock today up until 2 where we are standing against crime and violence and the killing of our children so that is part of all that is happening today from the neighborhood watch desk you should have heard about that unfortunate killing of the eight year old. The eight year old, right. yes. Um, what's your take on that? It is sad, it is a bas dastardly um, event. We should never have, after Ananda happened so many years ago, we should never have to have a public cry for our children still going on. So we are calling on citizens to come together. Only we can stop it. Any day the police can stay in their station and know what is happening in our communities today, I will leave Jamaica that because they are psychic and they'll be able to know all of my business and I'll be afraid. So if we don't come together with the police, provide the information, the intelligence as they would call it, to create the change and the difference in our society, it will not happen. We have to come together. Somebody knows something every time something happens, but nobody has anything to say. So as a neighborhood watch movement, this is my secretary sitting with me from a national desk. We are saying enough is enough. We want a change. We are calling on every citizen, every well-thinking Jamaican to come together and partner in their own corner of the woods that we can stamp up Christ across Jamaica. For me, what even touched my heart a little, even a little harder, as a woman and we are the cradle workers and we are the children bearers. And to hear that a woman was implicit in killing of this child, she may be the very one that cut the throat. We are thinking, and this child suffered for two whole days. As a mother, what brought me most of all was that when the mother states that the child died with eye waters on her face, that is telling me that even she, as a little angel, was crying either for the pain or to see her mother or class. It is bad and we need to send a message to these perpetrators that thinks that because the government is not putting in strong measures they can just go around and kill. We stand today and forever until we can have a safer country, a safer country, a safer district for all. One of the things we are calling on our governments to do is, and, and it's, um, the security system and the lawyers and the judges, we need to send a strong message by the laws that we have and the, the um, what you call them, the penalties that are being handed out. Yes. We need strong message to be sent through penalties. If I have nothing to fear to the justice system, I will do what I can in the cruelty of I want. I go in for a couple of days and come back out. We want it to stop. We need penalties, we need bites. As a mother, it breaks my heart, it pains my stomach, and so therefore that is why we are standing. Okay, it mother. is bad, bad, bad thing that happened. Mother, and what we are having here today with the Neighborhood Watch Movement launching in St. James, it's an example that we are setting publicly to the other divisions, calling on our police, JCF partners, partner with us, let us create neighborhood watching every division, every district, every community, every street, every house.